Shalom family. So today, as you all take a moment and remember what Christ did for you, how he conquered death and the grave, how he rose in victory and gave all of us a way to come back to God, while we celebrate what Jesus means to every single one of us, I thought this is the best time for us to really just let some of you share what Jesus means to you. The Son of God who became Son of Man so that the sons of men could become sons of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Jesus Christ who is with us always even unto the end of the age. So thank you to all of you who sent these in to me that we can share to encourage one another at a time such as this in the amazing, wonderful journey we have with our Redeemer and our Savior and our very, very best friend. Enjoy. Jesus is coming soon. Romans 10, 9 and 10. You must be born again. Jesus is the only way to God. Greetings. You ever listen to the tune Amazing Grace? My grandmother, she used to play that on her keyboard. This song always brings me to my knees. Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Everything in my life that I didn't want to do, I've done. And everything I wanted to do, I didn't. I've been to the highest of mountains, and I've been to the lowest of valleys. But I'm still here today to tell you about Amazing Grace. Have you ever met the author of Amazing Grace? His name is Jesus. It's just a friendly reminder that um, it's never ever too late to turn to Jesus. Um, there will always, always be a place for you in his heart, in his plans for the world, in um, his visions for the world. Despite what you may have done in the past, said in the past, where your heart might have been in the past, that all doesn't matter at the end of the day. All that matters is that you build a relationship with Jesus, you put in the work from your side, you read your Bible, you pray as much as you can. Your heart will fall for Jesus, you will fall for the idea of Jesus, you will fall for the idea of becoming a Christian and serving Jesus. It's never ever too late to turn to Jesus. No matter what the devil tries to tell you, oh no, it's too late to turn to Jesus. You've sinned too much, that's not how it works. Jesus will always love you. His arms are always open for you and yeah, don't fall for the lies of Satan saying that it's too late because it's not. Jesus will always be there for you. It's never, ever, I can't stress this enough. It's not too late. It's never too late to turn to Jesus. He loves you. You're his child. And, um, yeah, turn to Jesus now. He loves you and he misses you. How's it, everybody? I hope everyone's doing well today. I would like to answer the very important question is how important Jesus is to me and yeah uh, it's beyond how important Jesus is to me um what he's done in my life and you know um was it was a bumpy road my walk with with Christ and God and him um but yeah no definitely was a road we all face daily and how we all start and all that I would just like to share my how important Jesus is to me and how 
he helps me through the day and how this only strength of Christ I can face the, the next day and just be able to be able to talk to him and have a relationship with him is beyond beyond how I we can I can say in words now I love Jesus so much he's important in my life I can't go with a day without thinking I'm gonna go spread the word and talk to people so Christ is for me so important in life and to be able to have a relationship with him and we be able to have a relationship with him I just want to share my part in saying that Jesus loves you and he's waiting and he's willing to have a relationship with you all you have to do is ask I hope my message to you today encourages you saying that you're willing to you encourage you to have a relationship with Christ may you please have a blessed day and continue walking with God because God is good